Hello there! Recently I ran into some issues when trying to switch scenes in my Godot project. You've probably been there too. You try to change scenes and the game just freezes. Happens to everyone, I guess. So I thought wouldn't it be nice to have a loading screen or something like that. But then I thought that it'd be very hard and very complicated to implement something like that. Turns out it's not that hard. All you need is the resource loader class. That simple. There's also a great section in the Godot documentation about background loading, which I highly recommend you check it out. And don't be like me and forget to check the docs whenever you're not sure about something. First, I created a simple 2D scene to display while the loading happens. I'm using some of the 2D sprites from my game here, especially because we've decided to go full 3D from now on, and we'll talk about that in a future video. So basically, you will only need three functions to load the scene in the background. Let's have a look at the code. This function, I'm using a string to load the path to the scene I want to load. I'm also using this variable called time elapsed to measure the time just to see how long the loading process takes. And this is useful for debugging or optimization. So here's the important part. We use this method to start loading the scene in the background so your game won't freeze during the process. Let's have a look at the process function. Here we check the current status of the loading process. The progress array is filled with a value from 0 to 1, indicating the load process. This can be useful if you want to show a progress bar in the screen. If the loading is still ongoing, we just print the current percentage to the output using some colors for better visibility in the console. If the resource has finished loading, we retrieve the actual resource from memory and print that it's fully loaded. And here we calculate how long the loading took and display it in the console as well. So once it's done, finally we can emit a custom signal, which I handle in another script to actually switch to the new scene. And that's it. It's very simple to load a scene in the background. A bit of self-promotion now. Some of you might know, but I've been working as a game designer for Quaron Games, which develops a game called Call of Alindra. Call of Alindra has elements of Stardew Valley and The Legend of Zelda. So if you like this kind of game, check the Steam page and don't forget to wishlist it. So that's it for today. Thanks a lot for watching and see you guys on the next video.